Today, I'm going to be walking through the steps that I take in my wash day routine. The first part that I'm starting with is my pre poop routine. If you can see the length of my locks, I'm about one year and four months locked and my hair is growing like crazy and when I tell you that this rapid change in growth uh, my growth rate happened when I made this change in my wash day routine I've been doing this um, once a month for the last about four or five months and baby my locks are loving it they are flourishing and I'm excited for this journey I like to start with this part so that I can pretty much get rid of any buildup and um, gunk that might be in my hair before I wash it so that my wash process can be made easier so I'm starting out with um, Rasul clay and bentonite clay i like to mix them together and some of the benefits i have it here on my phone of um rasul clay wait a minute wait 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 okay so rasul clay is the moisturizer and softener it reduces dryness in the hair while also removing toxins and product buildup it improves the hair's elasticity and unblocks your scalp's pores. So this is why I think that this has been a major contributing factor to how my hair has been growing. I haven't been seeing any more buildup in my hair since I've started doing this process before I wash my hair. Um, and the other thing about it is that bentonite clay is very detoxifying for the hair it has a, a mixture of natural minerals that are beneficial for the hair and can encourage hair growth so it moisturizes it conditions softens, and reduces frizz it encourages curl definition and shine so when your curls are constantly being defined uh, expanding and contracting that for one it helps the locking process I also like to mix coconut vinegar in with the clay. Yeah, I think the coconut vinegar just helps the mixture to be smooth. And it also has a lot of minerals. Okay, so let me tell you what the coconut vinegar does for the hair as well. It nourishes your hair while also removing excess sebum and buildup on the scalp and the hair shaft. It contains 17 amino acids, enzymes, vitamin C, broad spectrum B vitamins and minerals, making it rich in healthy hair loving minerals such as sulfur, boron, magnesium, iron, manganese, um, zinc, phosphorus, and potassium. So coconut vinegar is also very good for your hair. So I mix these two and when I get the consistency that I like, I like to add a little bit of avocado oil. Let me just tell you what, how the um, avocado oil benefits my hair. It's another moisturizer. It repairs and strengthens your hair. And um, so I like to mix avocado oil into the clay mixture after I add in the coconut vinegar. And then once that mixture is nice and smooth, I like to dilute it as I do with any product that I put in my locks because I don't want it to get stuck in there. I'm trying to have it do its job, but I don't want it to stay, you know? So the clay pretty much just like brings all, all the product, toxins, whatever is in your hair out to the surface and makes it a lot easier to wash while it also conditions your hair and your scalp and promotes hair growth so i really like this process and i will have everything linked in the description box if you want to try this out but um so i go ahead and dilute the mix and i just apply it to my hair while it's dry i go ahead and give myself a nice little scalp massage while the product is in my hair and while it's drying i go ahead and squeeze my locks just make sure that it's completely distributed within my locks um 
before it completely dries down. But once it dries, then it's safe to go ahead and rinse it out. So to rinse it out, what I use is my lock bath that I use for detoxing. Um, and so I fill this up with warm water and just allow my hair to rest in the bath. And that just helps to um, make sure that the product is being removed from my hair and that it also gives um, a little bit of extra time for the product to sit within my hair and actually do its job. At least that's what I believe. So I go ahead and um, do that and it also makes it easier to rinse my hair out. So once I'm done with the pre poo I go ahead and wash my hair like normal. I think I'm going to split this video up and um, the second part will be my wash day and I'll show you how my products have changed and what things I've changed from my previous videos. If you watch any of those updates, you know that I had a problem with buildup in my hair and I just had some things that I need to work on. So I've improved my wash day routine. I'm going to be posting that later on probably in the next um, video so I will have it linked if it is available um, in the card section and everything that I use in the video will be linked in the description box if you want to try it out for yourself and let me know how it goes in the comments because I just already know I already know this is going to be bomb for your hair whether you're natural or not not just regular natural hair locked whatever this treatment because this is something that i used to do on my loose natural hair and it worked very 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 well my hair grew very fast and i was scared to do it in my locks because i was scared of build up but now that i've started to do it like once a month i can really see a difference in my hair and i'm loving it and it will be incorporated into my routine as normal like it used to be so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos and updates on my locks and whatever else is going on. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.